Hermione Way. I'm the co-founder of Vibees. This is the world's first smart vibrator. So it's a woman's vibrator that's controlled through iPhone and Android apps. So the company was founded when we started to do a lot of research into women and sex. And when it comes to sex, men and women are very different creatures. And men are very visual creatures, whereas women need more of our senses stimulated. We need touch, we need audio, um, we need visual. And so we came up with this idea that being able to connect a tutorial a simulator with your iPhone and Android and give you the power and tools in your hand to control the device uh, would be a great way for women to learn about their bodies and get comfortable with reaching climax. The company has been running for two years. Um, most of it's based in Singapore, but I'm between London and San Francisco. We're a four-person startup, so we're very young, and um, yeah, we're trying to change the world through empowering women and getting more women to feel comfortable with their bodies and putting the tools that they're already carrying in their hands into action. The most exciting thing that could happen is going home with a term sheet from an investor back to San Francisco, calling the team in Singapore and saying, guys, close our seed round, we've reached 500K, let's go into mass production. That would be the win-win situation. You'd be surprised at how much money it takes to build a startup. We've raised 300K so far. 150,000 we raised on Indiegogo, which is a crowdfunding platform, which is great because it proves there's a market for the product and people love it and are excited about it. The other 150K came after our success through crowdfunding, and that was through private investors. This trip to New York is really important for Vibees. Uh, we're bootstrapping at the moment, every penny counts, and we really need to raise the next round of funding or else the company will fail. New York is a place that I think is made for entrepreneurs. It is high energy, it is exciting, people care here about what they do. New York does look to London as a progressive, fast-moving, forward-thinking place. They love it. They love all things British. Um, they're just a bunch of closet kind of Anglophiles, to be perfectly honest.